So you always prepared to be the starter, even when you were the two, but does anything change now mentally, just in terms of the way you, you're approaching everything now that you are the guy? No, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry my same routine. Uh, so far that's working for me. I got guys around me that I can lean on uh, for support, but now the only thing different would be the vocal standpoint of leadership. You know, we, we still have Tyrod, he's still one of our captains, one of our best leaders. There's no doubt about that, but now I just need to be more vocal. Um, it, it just comes with the position. In your experiences in the past, is it harder to be the backup or harder to be the starter? To be honest with you, uh, I love playing, so it's a harder to be the backup. When you're talking about being more vocal in that way as the guy, how natural is that for you? And, and what, is it a little difficult to pull back from that one. <coughs> like, I definitely when say, to. yeah, it's it's harder to pull back when it's in my nature. You know, that's just who I am to be vocal, to express my feelings, my emotions, to, to lead with passion. So, um, yeah, no, it, I'm not going to be fake. I'm not going to do a, a rah rah speech or just talk talk. You know, there's always a purpose, and that's. I think you get the most out of your guys when you're doing that. When you're sitting out and waiting for your moment. Did you have a little bit of a quiet confidence knowing that you had seen this movie play out a few other times before? Absolutely. You know, having, having been through some adversity, um, you know, starting from different points and, and having to work through the depth chart many occasions, uh, it's definitely helped my story. And so, yeah, it was, uh, I've been here before. I'm just going to keep that same workers' mentality, and when my chance comes, take advantage of it.